We all need a personal way to be in conversation with life because what is not expressed is depressed. You can't inhale without exhaling and you can't take in the experience of perceiving and feeling without expressing. This is how the heart breathes. This is necessary, this, this means of expression in order to stay healthy, in order to stay real, in order to stay in touch with all of life and everything larger than you. It doesn't matter what form of expression that is. It could be gardening, it could be working on a car, it could be painting. What's most accessible to us is the act of journaling. This has been very important to me throughout my life because it's how I release unprocessed experience that in turn becomes my teacher. And just as in all the spiritual traditions, there are meditation practices. We don't meditate to become great breathers. We meditate to become clear vessels through which life moves. And likewise, we don't journal to become great writers, but to express in a way that prevents the buildup from unprocessed experience. And so this changes the way we hold what comes from us. It is not a product. It is not something to be judged as good or bad, as great or poor, or missing or hitting the mark. We don't judge breath that way. So journaling is the place where our feelings get to live and not get stuck in our heart. So I encourage expression for any way that's possible. And I offer this book, Things That Join the Sea and the Sky, not as an instruction, but an example from which I hope you can gain the strength to feel what is yours to feel and to stay in conversation with life.